Welcome to Mystery Crate. Hi. We'll get that out of the way. Okay. So there's something coming up that involves some, I guess you can call it an extreme sport, but not really. I would say, I would say it's not an extreme sport, and but it's, it's not really gonna happen yet. An either. extreme uh fear for people. Yeah, and it's not really locked in, but then it Rose, Rose is a crazy person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and she was talking <laughs> our video about producer. Yeah, one of our video producers here. And she was talking about uh Tony's skydiving experience mm -hmm. and how she wants to do all these insane things. But what it got me thinking was um, there was a guy who said, you know what? I'm jumping out of this mm. with this sheet and mm. we're going to see what happens. <laughs> like he, what he's talking about, the original parachute. The original parachuter oh. guy. How did he come up? How did he think, you know what? This bed sheet is going to save my I life. I think you start at like two, a two story. You roof. think? Yeah. How about, a, how about enough, off a tree? Not enough data. Like, kind of like Mick Foley. I think yeah. you're starting Jumping like 25 feet, 30 feet in the air. 30 yeah. feet is high, Chris. You're just hope like but you, you've done enough work that you're like, I'm gonna get some resistance here. Yeah. Are you sure? No. Like, that's I'm a, that's to what I'm saying. The I'm first guy couldn't have done it for science. The first guy couldn't have done it in 30 feet. <laughs> there had yeah. to be a few broken legs. For sure. Right? Yeah. At least a sprained ankle. Be, probably deaths, honestly. Right. Well, well, they probably started with like, we're gonna put a parachute on this brick or something and drop it. And they just collected data points. Until That's it was true. Safe you don't enough. have to use data. Yeah, you don't humans. have to. You don't have no, to. No, give me the human your, trials. You're numbers. thinking about very modern science for a non modern time. Yeah. No, I Cadavers. feel like they've always been doing science like, this way. When were crash test dummies? The scientific. Is it the scientific? That's probably how it started. Crash test dummy. The very, uh, Billy just walked in. We're Billy talking about the in. first parachute. What are we talking about? Like, first parachute. Testing ever. dangerous things like back in history, like the first time. What? Like, like Who's the first the guy that drank milk. Yeah, there was a guy walking around. That's weird. Yeah. Like, what, That's what are weird. you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's what are you up weird. to? I don't the, like that. Who was the first guy walking around? You know what? This blueberry thing on this tree? Gonna try it. <laughs> Who is that guy? Mm -hmm. But I mean, blueberries I get because it's it, they look inviting. But they didn't look inviting at the time. Like, you know, you know what doesn't look inviting? A cow's udder. Like somebody. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put my mouth on that. <laughs> like somebody took poison ivy and they were like, give me this thing. I'm like, ooh, yeah, ooh, great. wait a second. And they're like, oh my God, I'm itchy. <laughs> Hmm. Poison Ivy. <laughs> I feel like they they made a really big deal out of Poison Ivy when we were kids. I've never experienced not really I've a big deal. I've never seen one. You've <laughs> not got, really a is big that deal. You can get Poison Ivy. Yeah. So it's like, does it touch one part of your body? Does it go everywhere? Is it just affect what's touched? So this was an unpleasant experience, and I still don't feel like I've worked here long enough to be. Is that dumb question. No, I just, I just love I how you have it. Like Poison Ivy is flesh eating bacteria. No, we don't know. Like, we have no. You can just say they're talking over you. No, hold on, hold on. I cut off Lucy really bad. So go ahead, Lucy. When I was in like fifth grade, I was in the Girl Scouts and we were driving to our camp and we had to stop and we had to pee. So we just went into the woods and oh. I peed on poison ivy, not mm. knowing it. So oh. I have poison ivy on my ass. Mm. It's very itchy. It's mm. very uncomfortable. You need like ointment and mm. medication. It's not going to kill you. But it's not pleasant. But it's, I wouldn't recommend it. And you got it. it. If I had to pick a place, I the wouldn't want it. The worst place? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. in the nether regions. Yeah. Tough times. Now, how far did great. you go in the Girl Scouts? Um, not far. Mm. So Julia Griffin was in the Girl Scouts with me and she was kind of like my Regina George in life. Who, right hold on, who is, who is? Who are you in relation to Regina know, George? Who is Katie? I don't Julia know. Julia Griffin. Regina she was George's. my childhood best friend and she made all my decisions for me and I was like pretty chill with mm. But we like Julia Griffin. Yeah, she's, she's not like the roommate. We don't talk anymore, but she's not, not like for Emily. any bad reasons. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we grew up. Well, I'm Julia Griffin, good. Yeah, Julia Griffin is good. Emily bad. And Emily bad. Emily bad. Yeah. we were at Girl Scouts, Camp Kiawe. And there was a lizard in her bed. So she was like, I'm quitting. And she said, Lucy, you have to quit too. And I said, that's a really good point that you've mm -hmm. made. Quit. <laughs> yeah, really? And then I quit Girl Scouts. Like, could, there could be a lizard in your bed next. I mean, yeah. yeah. No, and she protected me from that. And yeah. so then we never did the Girl Scouts again. Ride or die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many years did you do Girl Scouts? Um, Probably five. Oh, okay. Feels like five too long. Well, I didn't yeah. know. I was I was a Cub Scout. I turned Boy no Scout. Of, I was no sort of Scout. No, that's not surprising. You're not a man of integrity. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> My parents were worried about the oh, Scouts. Boy. Oh, there, here we go. What do you want me to do? I mean, that's why I didn't join. Hmm. <laughs> what am I gonna lie to you guys? Is your mic on? There's yeah, like it doesn't. It doesn't sound echo. right. Yeah, mine. Echo. Yeah, yeah. Mine. Maybe yeah. it's like I'm just. Maybe all the mics are on there. Yeah, so all the mics I, are catching you. Yeah, it just you sounded weird there for a little bit. Huh? Nice sound. Like a robot was the alien back or no? Nice sound, sound better. better. Yeah, you sound better now. No. Where is the alien, by the way? No one knows who you're talking about. Oh, the alien? Yeah. From uh, the live show. At the live show in Vegas, there was an alien that was trying to talk to us while we were trying to do our show. <laughs> Can yeah. we talk about your Denver airport thing from earlier this week that you said? <laughs> this, is, this is legit, though. That you said that you wanted to get into that no one let you talk about? Well, I didn't want to get into it. 
I feel like I was forced to <laughs> talk. Luka you brought it up. No, I didn't bring it up. Jeremy brought it up. And he's not here to defend himself. Care Bear. So what do you want to know about the Denver airport? What you were talking about. Okay, so there's a lot of theories at the Denver airport that... Thank you. That they're housing like U- uh, UFOs and like military grade like weapons and uh, technology that we're not aware of. There's also, Jeremy said this one, there's also people online think that there's a underground concentration camp. I don't know about that. What? I have nothing to do with that. How's underground know. bunker for the president there? Underground, yeah, whatever. But yeah. there's a lot of stuff that's happening underneath the surface at the Denver airport. There's a lot of weird hallways that lead nowhere. It's huge. Weird there's murals, a lot of weird too. murals, exactly. So there's things you got to watch out for. I feel like all UFOs or a lot of UFOs, and I, I'm probably going to get crushed for this, are just like government planes we don't know about. You know no, what I mean? Like, it's just like government technology is maybe drones, not our been, own. Maybe people, it's another government's technology. In the government that are like, this is not us. I know, but there's different clearance levels in the government. Sure. But like, what do you think? There's only two people in, that have clearance on one thing? Yes. Here, yeah, I, I, yes. Here. Yeah, Mike, can you, can you explain do think, to people yeah. what you're pointing no, at? We had that. It's, that's it's the that. controversial murals at the airport. There's a bunch of them, but now they're like removing some. They're putting some. What back. is that one? What is controversial about that one? Because I can't really see this it. one. I'll put it on the screen for the audience. There's crying mothers in the back holding babies, and mm-hmm. then there's like a Gestapo type officer, and he has a sword and a gun, and then there's another one here that has a bunch of like images with like the American flag and the Israeli flag and a bunch of things in peace, but it's just. Awkward, awkward paintings. That right, that that one that you said said the true story about the conspiracy written. Why don't you just read that and no. then you know what's actually going on? Is it the no, true story like, behind conspiracy written murals? No, they're at trying. To, they're trying to cover it up. Yeah, that's a plan. Well, that's a plan. Yeah. Come Got on, Wiley. I can see that from here. Yeah. Give me a break. What, so that, what is there anything that you like actually believe or like you just question any everything? I question everything. Yeah. If you want me to be you honest. have to be exhausting to be married to. No, I'm actually very chill to be married to. Like, I go home, hang out, we watch TV. Like, we can we can call Jenny if you want. Oh, she she left you for call a week. Her didn't she? <laughs> call her Kyle. Oh, she left me for a week. Yeah, she's on she's on the road. She's doing a uh, a week uh, road trip for her job, and she's doing you know her thing. And I'm at my crib doing my just thing. Like, what are you just like? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's her thing? What's your thing? Doing what, okay. Walk us through like just single, not house. single, no, no, but you know what I mean. What's, what's the afternoon of Tony when his wife's out of town? Yeah, well, he, he, he wasn't yeah. supposed to be here today, and he came in because he was bored. He's bored. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I usually come in on days that I'm not scheduled anyway. So what do you do with your wife not there? <laughs> so what do I do? Let's think. Like, what's on the agenda tonight? Uh, tonight, I'm actually uh, taking some New York strips, going to my parents' house, oh. having a nice little grill sesh mm. over at my parents' house. Last night was my first night alone, uh, Monday night. and Saturday. I know, but the other night, nah. whatever. You know, or whatever day it was. Oh. All the days mold oh, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Monday night. I remember Chris, when Chris got like his first place, he would talk about like how excited he was to go home after work and just take off his pants and yeah. walk around in his underwear. Yeah. I and he was like, it's the greatest thing ever. Because d- my wife with our schedules now, I generally get home. Now with my daughter, I go get her. So she's. I was going to say with a kid, you probably do yeah don't have as much underwear time. But yeah. I do. There is just nothing better than having like an hour before you go get the kid and just like, I got to. How, how high? How high is the resentment? Level. Oh, pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> how high is the resentment level of your wife when you get home at like two o'clock? Well, hold on a well, second. That's how and often does not, she know that I? That's a thing. Yeah, <laughs> this is all guys. Mystery great listener circle of trust. Chris has told us before that he lies to her it's, about what time he gets home. It's the least <laughs> honest I am with my wife. Can I tell? Can I it's tell you? The only time I'm dishonest with her, like oh, yeah, like, that's a much better way of saying and, that. And yeah. I and I've gotten caught in things before where like I get home and I do like I clean something up and she gets home and she's like. Man, that the dishes got done, and I'm like, yeah, I just did them right before you got home. Like, I, I have to scramble to cover for me being home for an hour that she didn't know about. Yeah, the resentment level is pretty high, though, right? Uh, at times, mm-hmm. I think the resentment level is more just this job in mm-hmm. general. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, but you know, there's. Pros Do you have like a ring or something like on your door that she would see when you're getting home? Because no. then it's harder to lie I've to her. Resisted that. Honestly. Does she have a just for that reason? For that reason, yeah. Do you have the find my friends where she knows where you are? You know where she is. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We have like. Then she's. On then phones. she knows when you get home. How often? Yeah, do you, oh, no, she doesn't know. She yeah. she can see if she wants to. That is one of those things that like she never. We don't really. Do how, that. how often mm. do you like get up mm. when you hear her car pull up and you run to the dishes and yeah. you're just, you're just wiping a dish? Oh, hey, honey, oh, I've been picking well, up. You know, well every time. Well. Yeah, I think we're rerunning. It's more just like it's not 
I, it's just I'm gonna stand. I'm not gonna be on the couch when she gets in. Even never. if I'm just in the kitchen, doing something, I'm, I'm never not, be on the. Couch. I don't have to be necessarily cleaning, but she's gonna get home, and I'm going to be on the move somewhere. Yes, I'm gonna be moving from one that's room a, to the other. That, that's she's not gonna get right me there. in my normal spot with one leg up on the couch, right, right. and I'm just <laughs> on like your just phone. scrolling. Like that's she's not gonna have that. <laughs> okay, so that is exactly what my life looks like, right? Because we mm. get home, you know, early. My wife gets home a little bit later, and by a little bit later, it's like six or seven. Oh. So there's like five hours that I'm just by myself, right? right? I like to stay busy. I like to do things, which is why I like to learn. I like to research. I like to educate myself, right? <laughs> I like to learn and research. Yeah. <laughs> what do you learn and research? You ever just get home, Billy, Denver and you're like, airport. I'm in the mood to learn. Yeah. No, I'm trying. Going, no, I get home and then it's like, here's the 30 recordings of stupidity yeah. that have been scheduled that I didn't know about that I have to do, then I have to edit this. Kids. Exactly. Right. If, I, if I get a free moment to myself, I just try to take a nap if I can. Hmm. And it doesn't work because someone calls me or something in the meantime. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I you guys don't just nap ever. I nap every day. I wish I wish I could go like if I could go back and be younger, Lucy, it would be just for naps. I think that's the one thing I would change in my life is just nap more. No, nah, I nap maybe once a month. Yeah, oh, I try. I try to yeah. I try to avoid it. Yeah, avoid naps. Sleep at yeah, night. yeah, because you're old. no, because if then you nap, you stay. It takes me out all day. day. No, it's yeah. just I feel groggy. I feel yeah, tired. Like true. it's not like it used to be. Age <laughs> whooping my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, naps, naps. I'm down. Slap. I'm down at least five rounds to age. I'm, oh, I'm getting it. Are you like in denial of your age? No, in no, terms of like, no. There's nothing I can do about it, so I'm not in denial. Love a drool. It's just, but you want to be like younger, really? Oh, where I have to like just like wipe my face off, like I'm yeah. drooling everywhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's on the couch. No, it's my bed, Jenna. You know, you know what it is. I go sideways on my bed usually for a nap. Just plop on down. Wow, mm -hmm. it's not. I'm not mad face at the down. naps. I'm mad at like how I wake up. Oh, like I just don't wake up good. Like I wake up, I'm groggy. Like there's pain in my eyes. It's like, hmm. and then I know pain I gotta do it. I, am, I know yeah. what you're speaking of, but it I, it takes like five minutes, and I'm like back. Like, no, that me, first five minutes after a nap, I'm with you. It's a little. Like, no, for me, story. it's like it's like an hour. That's why I don't like napping. Yeah. And then it's easier to sleep at night if I don't take a just nap. Just get up, go to the mirror, slap yourself in the face. Wow. Yeah. Have you gotten yeah. your prostate checked yet? Yeah, really hurt. No, your I eyes. should though. I mean, yeah, you definitely yeah. should. Yeah, I don't mind a finger on my ass. It's fine. Mm. Okay, then. What? <laughs> yeah. You probably won't feel it, but you could ask them. Is that, did they still do it like that or no? You could probably ask for no medicine. This is my fault. <laughs> I, I, this is my fault. Yeah, 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 this is my fault. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry. He's done the research. Yeah. He gets home and does, does the research. Does I don't do any research when I get home. I had a moment last week when I looked in the mirror and I was like, I'm a dad. Like, that was it. Because I was like, before I was like, you know, like I have kids, but like, you know, I look at myself, I'm like, I, you know, still, I, I looked at myself the way I was dressed. I'm like, yeah, I'm dressed like a dad. That's it. It's over for me. <laughs> it's done. Like a dad today. You're dressed like a dad as long as I've known you. Jeez. Yeah, they, well, when you come to what us. Is that supposed what, to yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You're the one that made it a bad thing. I'm just saying that's how you dress. Like a dad? Yeah. There's well, nothing wrong with that. What would you change as the youthful one in the bunch? The youthful one. The youthful yeah. What should one? I, how do I, how do I dress cooler? Can I tell you in the next segment? Yeah, sure. As Chris Cody scrolls his phone. What's up, man? It's time for You, you betcha. betcha. You Betcha. It cashed last week. Yeah, congrats, yeah, Mike. Liverpool, anytime, Liverpool to win and tie in. Uh, you didn't bet that, Billy? No. No. Huh. He didn't. Rough time when we're making soccer bets. Yeah, it did. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But You Betcha is sponsored by DraftKings. Stay tuned because you'll hear more about DraftKings and all it has to offer throughout the show. DraftKings, yeah. the crown is yours. Uh, we're going to stay with the World's Game this week, Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Inter Miami goes to Orlando. A little... Uh, Ooh, Orlando City. It has a name. Rivalry game. Yeah, it has a name. Derby. Is it used to, is El Trafico is LA. Yeah. I don't know if think we so, have a name. Yeah, it, I think it was called like on it. Turnpike Battle or something like that. I was going to say, the Turnpike or 95, you can get to it was, it was Orlando some, it, was, it was something related to that. I just don't I remember off the top of my head. But my girl, Gabby Amato, she does the reporting for Orlando City. Shout out to her. Yeah, you But girl. I am going to take Inner Miami to win the game. Minus 160 coming off a draw in Los Angeles against LA Galaxy. Messi scored a 92, 92nd minute um, game tying goal there, but my brother has actually also been riding Messi anytime goal for both games hmm. uh, this season so far. So we're going to do that too. Stake Inter Miami, Inter Miami minus 160 plus Messi anytime goal. And that is you, you betcha. betcha. Chris, I have a question for you. It's called you betcha. El Clasico del Sol. That's wow. pretty stupid. Weak name. Like yeah, yeah, Chris, yeah, what yeah, happens yeah. when your wife walks in do and better. you've been caught on the couch with your leg up and your boxer scrolling? Nothing. It's just more my own. Like if I if I have a day where I've done a bunch of shit, I don't feel that. It's more just like how if, about on a day where you have if done I a bunch have a of shit? where I haven't moved for an hour and a half, then I just feel this this need to like 
seem busy. In your boxes. It, it usually involves a cabinet being opened. Mm. Like she walks in and I'm just like, hey, yeah, honey. Yes. And I shut the cabinet. Yes. And then that's it. I don't like just I get, just the idea of her seeing a cabinet being shut to me makes it feel like she thinks I wasn't being lazy. Well, if you're getting I, a snack. Well, I don't that's that cabinet. I don't know. Uh, is, is it it's a different cabinet? cabinet? Okay. Do you really think your wife is that dumb that you go <laughs> confuse her just by closing a cabinet <laughs> hey, every time? <laughs> like she's probably like here he goes again with the stupid no. cabinet thing. I'm not going to tell him I'm anything. I'm just saying, when you get home and your wife is in the kitchen, you're not thinking, man, did she just run to this room from her bedroom? Yeah. Like, Knowing you, just, you did for sure. Right. But you just, they just. They, I've definitely got a bad look for my wife as like, I'm sitting on the couch on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes a if, thousand percent. Sometimes my wife comes, can she can get home hot. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, boy. yes, yes. Agreed. And it's just, not Kyle. You can honestly tell by the way they walk through the door, yeah, yes. the vibes of whether we're good or whether I need to start faking it here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. mom, like, I, might, I might have a work car. call I have to do like just to like she uh, needs to know that, I, honey, I got to uh, Carl. Uh, Carl just called me. So I got to call. <laughs> you got to do the George Costanza. Yeah. Always yeah. look annoyed. Yes, dude. Uh, you know, it's she Stugat, running, it's running to other, a... I, I had a long call. I just got off a long call with Stugat. Like it's usually not a lie, but I'm just saying it's in my holster if I need it. Doing the dishes is always a good move, oh. or taking out what you're gonna make for dinner. Mm. Just like kind of taking out, like oh, they, oh, I, or, I'm this out. and this is gonna be bad. Or if me and my daughter were both enjoying some lounging time, right? It's, <laughs> I hear the door time. shut. It's time to go. I mean, let, like let's wrestle, Grace. Like, ah. <laughs> so then she gets home. Oh my god! And there is you're just, corrupting your daughter. There is just some delightful <laughs> yeah. father daughter time happening that she Hereditary. just happened upon. She just happened to get home right. And it's like, oh, what a great father that, he is. That mm. instantly diffuses the situation because <laughs> yeah. she comes in hot, yep. sees you, you and know, then maybe I'm, smiles. I'm being daddy. Exactly. I'm yeah. being daddy. Time. Exactly. Work right. is not now. I have a I have a call I have to do, but we're having daddy time now. <laughs> there's a weird tension. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. there. Okay. <laughs> there's there's weird tension in this side of the the room because Taylor entered and Taylor and Mike Fuentes. Well, I don't think it's a two way thing. I think Mike Fuentes just doesn't like Taylor. I don't think that <laughs> oh, wow. Taylor and Mike no, Fuentes listen. don't like each other. Mike Fuentes doesn't like Taylor. No. Taylor is a lovely person, and he's very. You what? are trying to instigator. You are trying to smash Drive a, a Tony Billy size wedge in between me and Taylor, and it will not happen. No, me I'm and a Taylor, vibes guy. Yeah, me and Taylor are joined. I don't know in about the common that. Good. Taylor has told me, I don't want to betray Taylor, but Taylor has told me on multiple occasions, Mike Fuentes wants me to fail. Nah, like that's, that, that's, that's true. See, nah. like that's an actual thing that he says and thinks. So Taylor came in because Taylor has a story yeah, to Taylor tell. Taylor has a story to share. Yeah. And I had asked Mike Story's Fuentes, not. like, how do I, like, you know, dress better since he's criticizing the way that I dress. And then Taylor just <laughs> throws a grenade from the back row. He goes, get a lightning bolt earring, which is what Mike Fuentes has. <laughs> it's a great line. It's a terrible earring. He wanted to out after that. Do you regret that no. midlife crisis? Why would, I, why would I regret it? Because you look like an idiot. Nah, what are you gonna do, Mike? Are you in a midlife crisis? Yeah, yeah. are you? Everybody who's almost forty is. No, you, but guys, you guys think you're not. You are. Yeah. Is it forty where you get your midlife crisis, or is it like closer to fifty? Uh, I don't know. It depends. I mean, I'm in good health, so it's probably closer to fifty. But <laughs> I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> yeah, How about you, like and like How about you? Billy? There's a lot of people dropping dead in seventy five. Am I in a midlife crisis? Yeah, because your life is obviously ending early. So yes, it is. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not gonna look to eighty. Get out of here. Yeah, no, I'm. Past saying. midlife, the amount of coke that you're at, you're at midlife. I think right now, um, we all are probably, yeah. yeah so, you so know, do you feel like a crisis is no, still, you know. no. I feel like you know, let me just ride it out, yeah. enjoy what I have left. You seem like a content it. person, so why would you be? Why would you have a crisis? Yeah, I'm about content. Oh, thank you. I, don't I don't guess. believe. I think Billy is one of the people that has done the whole. Just give me seventy five, and I'm good. Yeah, like, yeah he's, that's he's what I'm saying. Much. Yeah, I don't yeah. believe you. Really, man, you're gonna your tone is gonna change in like ten years. Like, Possibly. No. <laughs> I don't know. Great grandbaby. Billy's show good up. at his yeah. job. Yeah, he has two kids. Like, what does you know, that have to do with great anything? grandbaby? Because he's, oh. he feels accomplished in life. I don't. I actually, I feel really? like I no. I I do. I feel like I've been I'm trying disappointment but nah, that's for another day well, yeah are all about expectations right if yeah i had higher expectations for, for myself sometimes i look at myself and go hmm. think about finland how happy they are oh. you know why they're happy can i i no have expectations i have a correction to make stupid. from earlier ah, in the fans, week right? stupid ass. i i upset a lot of <laughs> I, I upset earlier this week a lot of disney adults i have yes. some beef with that i have beef with you no with me yeah i don't even because know what you're talking about little, he's dude, right two he's years right. ago me and you without kids we're so into going to Disney with these free passes. Like you, yes. were, you were a Disney yeah. person. No, but, his, no but his point is valid. I'm it with is. him. He's not taking 
time in in lines for pictures with that, Mickey Mouse. I'm totally. With, I've never, as an adult, taken a picture. Like, what are we with doing? Character. I don't that, need a, that one part. But in general, I don't need an like, autograph. I'm, from I'm very da- from pro. Daffy Duck or whatever. I'm very pro. Like, no, a group Donald, of friends, Donald, going, dude. A group of friends going <laughs> to Disney. Right, Warner Brothers. <laughs> Whatever. I'm, I'm pro Disney adult. Did you say Daffy Duck? Yeah. He said yeah, Daffy Duck. That's two dollars for sure. Whatever. It's definitely I'm not a Disney Look, adult, man. My bad. Guys, we just drink around. Do whatever you want to do to make you happy, right? <laughs> but, but this guy knows. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. if there was lines for children and lines for adults, I feel like everyone would be happier. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. if you're an adult, this is something that I found out that I didn't know. Don't take a picture of Mickey Mouse as an adult. Well, that's you know, whatever. Hmm. Here's something that I found out. Wrestling real fast. Did you do like the you paid for that little express thing? The The genie genie pass. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's other rides you got to pay, but if you play that right, dude, you don't wait in a single line. Like I gotta, I I was good at that. No, I I I I did a decent job at that. But this is what I'm saying. I didn't know until this past trip that the characters apparently have been instructed they can't disengage a hug. So, like, if a child goes to hug you, yeah, the hug rule. you can't end the hug. So, the kid could be there for 10 minutes hugging, you know, Daffy Duck, as Tony said, <laughs> and no one can stop this. So, like, the parent is going to have to go in and stop the hug, like, All right, okay, which is why I feel go. like the, the adults that I upset by saying there should be two separate lines, especially when it comes to meeting characters would be happy about this too because the line would move a lot quicker they just go they throw up their peace sign they take a picture put it on instagram whatever peace and then they move on they don't have to wait for these kids having these endless hugs with people we had that and then the people with the kids don't have to wait for all of these adults that are taking pictures with the characters and then you take a 15 minute line and make it a 45 minute line when this kid has no attention span is just crawling around spinning on the carpet doing all kinds of things we had that rule with dan in vegas where people could hug him as long as they want that's why it took so long yeah, yeah. 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 is that there for yeah. three hours yeah yeah. 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 Anyway, tailor your story. Yeah. Do we do we have enough time? Oh, also, yeah. we better have enough. Wait, time another another, another so, Disney yeah. correction. <laughs> yeah. have another time. Disney correction. The happiest place on earth is in California, Disney and it Land. always has. It, Disneyland yeah. has been the happiest place on earth, and Disney World is the most magical place on earth. So but when I said that, I was wrong. Are the prices the same? Has anybody been to Disneyland? No, they're no. expensive. I know. Yeah, but is it the same as Disney World? Because I feel like that's a rip off. Nah, of probably more expensive because it's California. Yeah, oh, taxes, true. Mm. A lot of taxes. Probably like two thousand dollars a ticket. Yeah, I heard that. Taylor, tell me your story, which has so far from Disney. Do we have enough time? So far from. Yes, yes, Disney. Three minutes. Let's go. Go ahead. Uh, okay, so this story is from when I played football at Carolina, and oh, look we had a. It has nothing to do with the football part. So we had a support you staff. Put that in. Just to, look at me. Yeah. We had a support staff guy that we all followed on Instagram. I'm not going to say his name. Don't want to betray any confidence. George. Uh, yeah, we'll call we'll call him George. Right. Come One on. night overnight, Boy. his wife logged into his Instagram. And she posted already about to start. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm already sweating. Yeah, <laughs> and she posted a slideshow, and the first photo was him very clearly about to cheat with another woman. Oh, on what looked like a ring camera. Oh, in the in the picture, you could only see one woman. Do you have the stick? Well, the, what, but, one woman. woman. What? Yes. For the woman who Standing posted. applause yes. from Lucy for the woman. No, yeah. not for cheating, but the woman who went no, the woman, on the and woman posted. Of, of posting. Yeah. She, yeah. Lucy's yeah. pro yeah. cheating, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she changed his first. passwords so he couldn't get back on to delete it. So by the time everybody Ooh. sees this, it's like 7 a.m. in the morning. It's like the post says like posted five, six hours ago. Uh, and the caption said, hey, just so you know, blank George is a cheater and he's going to Craigslist gangbang meetups. Baby. <laughs> Jesus. What prompted this story? Is that the is that the right oh, wow. is that the right uh, last week last week on this I don't know what is that the right niche or? is that the right niche for what he and was the, doing the, or? the next the next photos in the slideshow very clearly depicted what was happening? Multiple people, yes. Like multiple people going into the house. I mean, let's not kink shame, but you got to tell your wife if you're doing this. That's fine. <laughs> Do you? So, so, but, but <laughs> what? But well, hold on. So, I'm saying, it, was like, it accurate? She, like she's cheating. It's, it's got to be a good yes, It was very no. accurate, and we we never saw him ever again. I, I think he, Do we know he, he just still, disappeared. Yeah, is I George know. okay? Is he around? <laughs> I think he just scrubbed himself from the, the face of the earth. Yeah. Oh, he, is wow. that post still yeah. up? Can no, you go no, find no, that no. Instagram, story? Instagram took it down. Oh, no, really? Instagram, Instagram took it down eventually. It, what, it violated some all rules? their community guidelines. Oh. Yeah. That might be the most, like, we went from Disney. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> like, I, 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 I knew the story Instagram. in advance, but that's I was like, brain, this is brain. quite the transition. So hold on. So, so I have way, like, a lot of questions. So what was the site? What happened? <laughs> he said Craigslist. Craigslist, huh? So 
she went happen. on and did that. Was he sleeping? Was he next to her? He, was like, what was the the dynamic there? That's a great question. We never saw him ever again. But if I had a if I had a guess, she probably left and knew his Instagram login and was like, I have I found this on his phone. The video was on his phone, I believe. The video of and the she ring. Was just, or she the was video of yes, the she was screen of the GB. But why did he have the, his own evidence on his phone? I mean, if it was evidence of the what's going on in the party, whatever. Shout out to Greg. Yeah. George. Shout out George. to George. Yeah, George, Greg. Why are we shouting out George? <laughs> oh, why not? Shout out to George. Okay. I have more questions. Guys, we're going to, <laughs> we're going to Flanagan's this week. Yeah. We just invited Billy. We we went to Flanagan's this week. We went to Flanagan's this week. We invited Billy. Did Billy did, show up? No, yeah, he didn't show yeah. up. Yeah, did you show up? It was so much fun. It was oh, the last, it was I loved it. It was the last Fine. second, guys. Sorry, Stu God's called me. Taylor, he's, how'd he's you like Flanagan's, Dr. Taylor? Lee or whatever. It was all right. It was, oh, okay. What? You've never been <laughs> out of here. All right, that's <laughs> it. That was the first Get time. him out of here. Wow. I huh. do have one item there that I find a little overrated. What's that, Chris? Don't say, don't say it. Do not say it. The rib rolls. Don't. Oh, no, you're right. I'm on. I'm on you with that. That's right. You mm. said it's it. Just like no, no. Wow. I'll, I just could never order them. Like I gotta have just one. Like that's yeah. it. They're like yeah, like rich. A, a plate of eight is a lot. Yeah. Well, they're yeah. for the table. No, I know, but it's just like even two people. That's too much. I don't need more than one. Like you it dunk has to be ranch? a table for eight yeah, where everyone gets. Jalapeno. Of course, you, you filled up at the I'm, one. I'm eating ranch there with a side of rib roll. I just pour like I need another one. I just like pour the whole thing on there. Yeah. They're just, are fire, they're just like uh, rib meat egg rolls, right? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what they are. But they're delicious. It's it, This goes back to barbecue sauce. Like, it's just not my favorite. But Come barbecue on, sauce at Flanny's is different than no, barbecue good. sauce. True. It's regular. It's, like, a, it's a strong barbecue sauce. Different. I use the barbecue sauce from, from Flanny's that I got in our... Uh, thing, yeah. yeah, so Lewis bought, like, socks and that. And that was my uh, white elephant gift that I ended up with. Hmm. Used it on some meat the other day. Delicious. What about the barbecue socks? Sauce is great. Have you used the socks yet? The socks? Yeah, I use the socks. Oh, yeah? You you strike me as a guy that wears socks in the house, like to just kind of roam around. Sometimes this if the floor is cold, I feel we're I feel in, like you're not a descalzo season. kind of guy. What descalzo kind of guy? No, I am. Yeah, this yeah. Is sock season. Yeah, it is. Sock I, season. I go to sleep with socks on this time of year. No, no way. really. No way. I don't like wake. I like the idea of my feet flying out of the covers and they're still warm. Mm. <laughs> you know that you know that your feet regulate your body temperature when you're sleeping. Oh boy. So like your research when you get home. You get to really? <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> your body has an optimal temperature that it goes to sleep at, mm -hmm. right? And when you put socks on, the the heat that enters your feet it's sometimes trapped. doesn't help doesn't help you go to sleep. I thought my do you uh, feel a little restless when you wear are, socks? Are you saying that the feet are the warmest part of the body? No, what I'm can, saying is warmer. I can find a warmer spot for you. <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you can. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure you can. Your hands. We it's, all know where our hands go when we're cold. Uh, I mean, that's where the the pockets. center of your your heat. You guys ever did a thing where you're laying on your stomach and you just like put your hands down in like your area? Yeah. No. While you're sleeping? I, I know you guys are all looking it's called at the me. dead People man. Have done this. It's called the dead no, man. No, nobody has done this. I do that. Knows. Thank you. So, okay. it. so long story short, the socks may not help you sleep at night. So mm. that's all I'm saying. It's a psychological yeah, thing. Long story short. It's like, it's like telling your body, I'm not snoring anymore. And then you stop snoring. That's not a thing. That, you don't. You don't stop snoring because you decide Chris, that you have. Not only has Chris followed there that. There was one night where I was like, I think it worked, but I, it hasn't like cured me of snoring. You have no idea if it worked or not. No, there was no, one Chris night where it, with my wife where I was like, all right, Tony told me this thing of like deep breaths, almost like meditation, right before bed, in through like out through, mm -hmm. and I did, I did it, and the next morning my wife's like, not a peep, but I don't mm -hmm. snore every night. So it was just like we got just said she, she stopped, told herself to stop clenching. Yeah. And she, and she did. did. And that's when I realized I don't grind my teeth. I'm a clencher, too. So and that's how I broke my, no that's how you I you broke my feeling. You yeah. need to tell yourself. <laughs> not today. I'm just saying I found that I'm a clencher. I haven't told myself to not clench it. Like, well, have you tried? I'm going to try tonight. Thank you. Saturday. What do you do, Lucy, that I can help you with? <laughs> um, I actually believe you because during my college football road trip, I got very tired because I was traveling a lot mm -hmm. and I felt myself getting sick. And I was like, I'm not, not doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting sick. Mm -hmm. And I felt like shit. Next day, I was totally I mean, I'm sure fine. the emergency also helped. Yeah. No, yeah. No. No. <laughs> I went, I got the medicine drink from Starbucks. Well, that probably Disgusting. also helped. Disgusting. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's but your I think it actually works. It. What is no, it? No, I really think <laughs> the mind like is a powerful tool, ball. guys. No, medicine ball. I sat there and I like, I felt terrible like really really bad and i was like Invisible. i am just not I'm fighting going through it it's not gonna happen can i like lose weight in my mind you can like no. if i'm just like you're gonna lose weight tonight yeah what? you're gonna wait well up. you also have to take the appropriate steps to ensure that your mind is able to do what your body is also doing mm, right sure right. yeah i got really into manifestation in college but i was really weird about it so it didn't stick vision board 
Yeah, I had a vision board. Well, vision boards are nice. I would do like the, like, I think it's normal to like write down like things you want and like journal and stuff Goals, like that. Yeah. But I would be like, I'm going to write it down three times and then I'm going to write it down six times and I'm going to write it down nine times. Wow. Because some girl on TikTok told me it worked and then I didn't get what I wanted. Yeah, so. no. Oh. I, I think that so. part's a little kind of goofy, but yeah. I think <laughs> I moved the, on I, from that. Yeah, the idea of seeing something and then like, using your energy to go and get that thing mentally is a is a powerful tool hmm. like what do you want nothing okay then to be left it. alone you have it well no i yeah. have to bother no, you no, just, no, okay. have to bother you yeah. 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 so then we're at flanagan's on wednesday <laughs> exactly. i wanted to be peace and quiet and here i am at flanagan's on wednesday <laughs> All right. with my friends mm. how do you guys feel Thank my you. uh brother hey call his friends Thank hey he's all that hey he had to show up for taylor's first time my brother-in-law and sister-in-law have a three-year-old that they're trying to get out of a pacifier like to take it out trying right. to she's kind of addicted to it right and they did a thing where they brought her to some build-a-bear place and they're like we're gonna put the the pacifier in Inside, the bear yeah. and then you can sleep with the bear every night but they get to the place and the place is like we don't really actually put it in there so we're gonna, there's gonna be like a thing where we pull it away and we just trick the kid and like my <laughs> why my they can so put it in there know, very easily i'm telling you they they wouldn't there why some rule, i don't know but the it was like a big controversy. Now my mother-in-law is going to stitch it herself. And my brother-in-law was like getting frustrated with these people. Like we, we, we called ahead and you said you would do it. And now we're in, it was a whole to do. And I was hmm. just like, but I mean, it's a kid. You can tell him, yeah, it's in there. You can tell him anything. Yeah. You can tell him anything. I was, yeah, I was, stupid. I was, I was yeah. pro. Cause just, they're dumb as shit. Just lie to the yeah. kid. Whoa. And then it's, it, it'd be something you laugh about <laughs> when they're 16. Exactly. Hey, you, this bear that you still sleep with. Made, it's not in there. Major <laughs> trust <laughs> issues. Right I would here. not know. Whoa. Major trust issues. If that happens <laughs> like George, yeah. Taylor wanted to talk about something he misses or something. No, wait, hold on. Before Tony Taylor, had questions about George. Yeah, before oh. no, before that. Yeah. Um, and his sex parties. <laughs> oh, oh, the Craigslist sex party, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's a gang Craigs bang. Yeah, the gang bang. What? Yeah. So, so don't be, don't be so, so scared, Taylor. Taylor. So Taylor. <laughs> so so, <laughs> so so Taylor. Who was the person that was closest to George that you got kind of the juice from? In what way? Nope. That was that was well, looks like George like, was given the juice. Nobody was like hey. super close to him. But like we, we followed the people that were on the support staff on mm -hmm. Instagram mm -hmm. and like it, it had started going around the group chats being like, this is not good. Go to Instagram right now. Right, it feels right, like right. this guy needed a friend and everyone was just, and everybody yeah, just, real. Real. just but, yeah, but everybody could, to pile on. <laughs> everybody was probably like, Hey, this is up on your Instagram. And he would have been like, my password has changed. Yeah. I, I can't. But it seems I mean, more. Yeah. It seems like the, get password. Link. It seems like the, the group chaps were more gossipy yeah, than yeah, allowing the yeah. guy out. Yeah, more than. I concern. mean, we weren't friends with him. Yeah, he was, I mean, you could have warned a brother. Yeah, you could have warned. We could tell. You could have warned a brother. You could tell. You shout out to Daffy Duck. That's good. That's really good. Good callback. Thank you. So he was in the game bangs, huh? Yeah. Things we made a bigger deal about. Quicksand. That was the whole question. Uh, this that is way, your whole, joke. Hold on, your whole question. So right we had this conversation George? like so six right months ago. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I could get out of quicksand. Okay. I, I feel you, like you can't. Taylor's doing old material. Quicksand now. was like, dude, <sighs> if you get into quicksand, you're gonna die. You're dead they, right away. They didn't tell us that quicksand's only in like Egypt in like the desert, and it's and very we'll never slow be there. and easy to walk out of. <laughs> <laughs> when I was going through school, I thought I would I would encounter quicksand like every other day. Right. <laughs> Just like poison ivy. It's everywhere. And then you realize it's nowhere. What movie is like Princess Bride? Princess quicksand. Bride where they have to throw yeah. in the, the vine and then the, the boar comes in. Mm -hmm. Basically any movie based in the Middle East had quicksand somehow. Well, no, this one was more medieval time. Mm -hmm. Well, no, but like the mummy had quicksand. Well, the mummy had quicksand. Oh, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones had a quicksand? bunch yeah. of quicksand. Yeah. yeah. In the, the Crystal Maybe. Skull, I think he's in quicksand. Oh, that movie uh, doesn't exist. Well, yeah, that movie never happened. Terrible. What? I've never seen any Indian. Crystal Skull. Son. What? I've never seen an Indian. You never seen the Jones first one. You never seen I've Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hold on, my I've wife's calling me. What do you Disney, want me to ask her again? The Disney show. I don't know. Kyle. Oh. Oh. Say hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Good humor. Whoa. <laughs> 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 oh boy. Okay. Oh wow. Hey, we're See, on the show. Live radio. Come on, man. It's a George situation. Sounds like real George situation. Answering the <laughs> but you Who's know that Chris Cody. But you know that Chris yeah. Cody talks to her wife, talks to his wife, and says, Hold "Kyle." <laughs> no, she doesn't. She doesn't know. That. And, and you know, you're supposed okay, to. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. Don't wow, apologize. Now you're making her feel bad about yeah. it. Yeah. Lucy says, "Don't apologize." You've done nothing wrong. You've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Billy wanted me to call you and ask if. What do I do when you're not? Oh yeah, right. Well, earlier in the episode, he wanted me to call you and ask if you miss me or are you glad that. I did. Yeah. Yeah. So what was it, Mike? I don't remember. Because <laughs> you were we were we were talking we were talking about Tony being home alone when you're gone and what he does. Yeah. And if he walks around in his underwear, etc. Yeah. 
What? Oh, I think it was. I think it was. Paint a picture. Billy wanted me to ask you. Paint a picture of what I'm of like when you're not home. <laughs> well, how would she know? How would she know? Well, she you're knows not me. Home. You're just like sitting. On the no, computer. no. What I ask is if you were exhausting to be married oh, to. Oh, that's, that's what, what it is. That's, that's what I ask is if you're exhausting to be married to. Based on this conversation. Exhausting to be married to. Yeah. Yeah. Exhausting to be married to. Oh wow. Oh, exhausting so, people. So you're both up. tired all the time. Energy. <laughs> there you have it. All right. Straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, don't call you. Don't call her that. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, I love this, love. This fight, what most people would think. Wow. Well, also, well, I've heard that I'm exhausted to be married to a lot. Nope. What? You you did it. You got to lay in that bed. Sorry. Oh, it's too late now. Pull over the phone. Yeah. Kiss. yeah sorry. sorry. We'll kiss goodbye. Yeah, say really yeah. Say love. My mother listens. Yeah. My, your mother does not listen to mystery. All right, Jenny. We love yeah. you, but please, this All is right. going on way too long. All right. We only have two minutes, babe. I love you. Bye, Jenny. Have a nice time. Bye. Bye. Bye, Kyle. Boston, am I right? Okay. Bye. Hmm. Uh, so have you? Kyle she said you. to me so many times that I'm exhausted to be married to. <laughs> she said that to me so many. So you just threw her under the bus. She just like gave you no, a compliment she, here. And she's being nice. Very but I'm nice. Be real. Oh wow. Real. No, That's no, you. Nice. She said that to me. Yeah, if I could sum up in one word, it's real. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real. <laughs> Anyway, Taylor, any more gangbangs you want to talk about? Yeah, or? seriously. Yeah, we got two minutes. Tony, Tony said he had a lot of questions about Did you just it? say you missed Quicksand and that was the whole thing? No, no, he, he's right, though. Quicksand was supposed to be a bigger deal. Yep. And it never ended up being a bigger deal. Yeah, he does have a clock button. <laughs> huh. Found it. Hmm. Does Boy. it actually work, though? <laughs> Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, it works. There's no way he's ever been trained in that, though. He's no one's used, told he's him. He's getting out of Quicksand? What? What? <laughs> what are you asking about Quicksand? It's a wild button. It feels like it'd be like a bomb button. <laughs> Police coming. It's like you're at a bank teller and yeah. somebody's yeah. like sticking you up. Mm -hmm. I, if I was ever robbed and I worked at a bank, I just let them take the money. I don't care. That's what you're supposed yeah. to do. Yeah. Like, what if I? Why am I going to be a hero? What do I care? It's, it's all insured. Money. Who gives a <laughs> shit? Yeah, my money. Right. Exactly right. Take you're it. I'll help you me. out. Here you go. It's government's money. Right? Here's a bag. Whatever. It's I wouldn't be like the brave person. It's like, let me throw in the thing that blows up and it splatters uh, yeah, everything. Every camera. Camera. I don't need exactly. You don't want to be seen on camera being like. Do you need two twenties or what? Would yeah, you like? why not? That, that's going to be me. Why not? Yeah, yeah not that is what I'm going to be. I'm not getting killed over this. <laughs> I'm, 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 Get out of here! I'm making thirteen fifty an hour. Exactly I'm right. No, I'm just thank be like, you. Go ahead. And Billy's like, do you need change for quarters? What do you Correct. Want do you want my oh, sun no. pass to yeah. skip the tolls? Like whatever you want I'll to make this go by quicker. Ooh, that, here you go. Don't don't take that one. It has an ink pack. Exactly right. Yeah. No, thank you. I'm good, sir. These are unmarked, actually. Yeah. These are sequential. You don't want those. I got the good stuff over here. Yeah, yeah. Right away. I'd be so helpful. I like a good bank heist movie. Me too. I love heist movies. Inside Man is one of my favorite not, movies. Not enough they of them. They made a second one. Heat. I know. The second yeah, one was not sure. But not, not enough of them, honestly. Not yeah. enough heist the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Baby not driver. enough good ones. Yeah. Like Baby Driver was good. You could probably name all the good ones on one hand. Really? Yeah. Inside Man was great. Don't you have an app that you rank all the movies you watch or something? That's no, a letter box. That's a letter box. Yeah. But I have it too. But it's a little, it's a weird app. You just end up like there for three hours picking every movie you've watched. And oh, that sounds miserable, actually. Yeah. Movie people. Get over yourselves. Exactly. Check out Cinephile. I can only think of like Heat. Yeah. Inside Man. Mm -hmm. Baby Driver. Yeah. Uh, what's another like The Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah but it wasn't not a heist really. Movie, that's, that's that, that was a heist movie. That was the no, first. No, well, like do you consider like the Ocean's like movies movie. heist movies? O Ocean's yes, Eleven, for sure. Ocean's yeah. Eleven. Twelve wasn't bad. Twelve was bad. No, Ocean's I'm, Eleven was good. Thirteen was good. Yeah. Eight, I liked eight. Well, we'll put them all together. Twelve was bad. It's a series, but then I can't think of any. You know why oh, twelve was bad? Because that, Julia Roberts pretended to be Julia Roberts at one point in the movie. Point yeah, Break. I forgot. And I was like, no. Point Break. Yeah. You know what's better than Point Break? The Town. The Town is excellent. The Town is the Town is a top tier high school. Joe Mazzula watches every day. That, yep, yeah, sure okay. he does. Did you know that? Lucy? No. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's tough about that movie is... <laughs> you learn something every single day. Tell your therapist that today. Ben yeah, Affleck. Tell today. your yeah. therapist that today. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's trying to elevate her life. Dog day I learned something today. Uh, Joe Mazzula watches... the show sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that's not, not good. Not often. I told her, hey, Nina, that might not be the best move. And mm. she respects my boundaries. That I was going to say, that's like, yeah. We're really close. That's I a breach. I called her bitch the other day. Oh, wow. In what sense? In a good like, yes, bitch. Uh, and she was like, hey, don't. Don't do that. And wow. Really Can uncomfortable. you give us the context or no? She said, did you work out today? And I said, yes, bitch. And then she said, did you just call me bitch? And I said, I meant it with a lot of love. Yeah. Love you. Hey, she therapist. Like, hey, boundaries. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. We're working on boundaries. It's been a it's been a big. Are you the one that you're the one that breaches these boundaries? I'm assuming yeah. more often than Seems like yeah. Nina calling somebody bitch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've been together for three years. She doesn't give me her phone number. Good call. 
you have you text. directly asked for it? I, I found her email, so that's how I talk to her. But everyone else tells me their therapist gives them their phone number. <laughs> what do you mean like you found her email? I found it through the so I do virtual uh -huh. and they send it through this link, and I was able to find uh, her email through the link they sent. backtrack, nice. Because I had to update her on something. Yeah. And then once was you got her email, like she was like boundaries. Was, it was a happy update, so she was mm -hmm. fine with it. We work on more of my personal boundaries, my professional boundaries, got it. my boundaries with my family. We work on all the boundaries, and she's my girl. You do like I a sixty-minute thing. Yeah. Well, we get fifty minutes. That's always been weird for me. Yeah. Fifty. Huh? Well, the Fifty minutes every Tuesday, but sometimes I switch it up. Every Tuesday. Yeah. Nice. We have a lot to work on. Yeah. It feels like very. Do you feel like you're making progress? Yeah. Oh my God, you guys would have hated me three years ago. Do you get? Do you have like regressions? Really? Like frequent regressions? Well, yeah. Everybody has like yeah. regressions. Everybody goes through phases, but huh. I was not. You learn so much stuff in therapy that I had like no idea. Where just like sometimes you sit and you're like, why did I do this certain thing? And then yeah. she's like, well, do you remember when you were eight years old and this happened? I'm like, oh my God. It all makes sense. My sessions are more of a monologue. Oh. But you are by them. By, by, by me. Come yeah. on. <laughs> and then I, I, and then I wonder, I wonder. Their time paying is attention? What's yeah. going on here? <laughs> Do you ever start like rambling about something else to see if they'll stop you? Like you're talking about something serious and then you're like McDonald's. I will say. Did he tell you eight hey, and folk out there? I don't want to. One day Billy's going to talk to you. Do you have a Cuban therapist? Because there's another bit there. Cuban pilot, Cuban therapist. I don't want to say it. Write that down. There have been times that I've like. I've noticed that it seems like, cause I'll do it. Like I used to do it in person. And then like, I started like on the phone and I was like, this is so much more convenient. I don't have to drive, I have to do anything. And then I have had instances where like, I'll just stop talking to see how long that pause goes before <laughs> like there's a reaction. I, I love how you're playing your own game <laughs> with your therapist. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm a crazy, I'm a crazy <laughs> person, <laughs> clearly. They're working for you though. I like, know. There is a little of like, hey, you're listening, right? I have well, wondered sometimes if there's distractions. Did, you seen uh, something about Mary, right? I, I, yeah. When I got my, when I got my therapist's phone number, I was kind of like, I really this wouldn't. is weird. That Why has do I to have be this? the worst thing because there has to be times like so much of their job is listening. There have to be times where they get lost or distracted and then they're like, shit. Uh, oh, I know. And imagine having to follow my thought process. Right. No, like, and, then, and, then and then they have like that, 30 clients. So you think they'll ever you know. stop you and be like, hey, I, I want to be honest here. That's what you got I, 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 I got distracted for a second. Go back never, to that. Never. Never. never, do never. That. They're never. on the clock. You yeah. guys do not have a Nina in your life. And she it will be like, well, Nina hmm. will do like we'll be talking and she'll be like, hey, I'm really thirsty. I need to go get a water like. Just give me like a two minute. Is this like on she Zoom? Yeah, this by the is way. Zoom. Okay, so you can see uh, like yeah, that's. But she'll like leave the help. frame. And so she's gone com. for a little bit or she'll like if her, she needs to take her dog out or something. Yeah. But we have a good rapport. Like the first year she wasn't really doing this. And I was crying a lot. The What's time. Nina's dog's name? Um, Winston, I believe. Winston. Great, great dog name. Yeah, it's, and uh, we, sorry, dog name. Old. The area of prom yeah. is Winston. Yeah, old, old human names are good for dogs. So maybe. Yeah. Gertrude. Oh, so you've known Nina for like different cities. Nina's been with you throughout been your with me for a while so i've she's been with me since i lived in north carolina to la to here hmm. okay she's where's nina based out of north carolina yeah nice she is the bomb and you've never been to her in person right it's all nope. been it's all been virtual wow what if nina's not real do you I have think she's very what real. if she's ai i've looked her up online do you have do you feel Sick. like a need to like do you not want other friends of yours to have her because then you like is there this fear of like she then knows a lot about me and then she knows like, not that she would ever like talk about the other people, but it's just a weird thing of like, I don't I don't know if I would want my therapist. Well, it's doctor patient privilege, but buddy, come on. I'm not yeah. saying yeah. that, yeah, but, it, but it's, it's just cool. the, the idea. Yeah. I don't know, I would just feel like I would want mine like, like if I'm like, hey, I'm looking for a therapist, can you, rec like, you, you want to you like, Separate you, I'd be like, no, well, she's she, mine. She actually saw my sister for a bit. So that was oh. like a little interesting because she would hear from my sister yeah. and for me. My sister no longer sees her just because yeah. a therapist is a very like, you need to make sure it's right for you. Yeah. Nina's great, right for me, not right yeah. for my sister. It never really Is she cornbread me. or is she whole wheat? Um, I, Well, I'm whole wheat and cornbread. She's what? Um, Gluten free. I don't know what she is. Hmm. Call her rye. She's been super oh, yeah. upset about Pumpernickel. all the cornbread, cornbread whore stuff. She yeah. reached out to me. 
Um, she said she didn't really get her moment. She felt like she should have been paid for what happened. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Did just, what did I miss? She yeah. insulted you and oh, then you she thinks she needs more? She was like, <laughs> her sister, oh, just to fill yeah, Chris let me, Cody let me really see this. And whoever didn't see it. And that. whoever didn't. So, yeah, Lucy. Lucy's sister. Lucy's sister. Oh, were talking about right. something yeah, yeah. and then she called Lucy a cornbread whore. Yes. Yeah. And then huh. I sent her like the screenshot because they named the episode after her. <laughs> she said, I deserved more of a recognition, by the way. You'll be hearing from my people. Hmm. It said, how could we have done better? And she said, I deserved a whole show. I haven't got a cut whole yet. Show. I am more famous than you. So this means nothing to me. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Is she oh, indeed nice. more famous than you? Oh, uh, I feel like at this point, maybe. No wonder mm. you need if I was going to be a whore for something. Cornbread? Cornbread? Yeah. How about a whole wheat bitch? Mm. How about that's a butter? She, how about a buttermilk biscuit whore? I've been called that as well. Uh, whole wheat, whole wheat. By sesame by her sister, sesame seed whore. My sister yeah, yeah. called me the cornbread <laughs> whore. Sesame seed, yeah. oh. uh-huh. But I got called a whole wheat bitch just by yeah. a stranger on the internet, right. and it stuck with me. Like oatmeal. Insult, Damn, though. that's that's a good insult. It's though. a great. That's a great insult. I saw insult. that and I was like, I'm not even a little bit mad. Yeah, thank you for that. That's perfect. Hmm. I saw someone on the internet asking if you could only have for the rest of your life either cornbread or bagel. Bagel. Oh, bagel. Bagel. Wow. Yeah. Have you found Nina on Instagram? No. Oh. I've never looked her up on social media. I'd Why? Because of boundaries? Yeah, honestly, yes. But I don't I believe that. Really, I, I believe that you've tried and no, you haven't I been really able have to. I've never looked her up on social media. I have looked her up on like her like credentials because I wanted to know like where'd yeah. she go to school? Yeah. How long has she been doing where'd this? Where'd she go to school? Um, I believe she went to the University of South Carolina for grad school. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh. Mm, okay. I don't know about that. Yeah. Speaking of bagels. Nice campus. Uh, Chris recently went to New York. Did you get a bagel up there? I did. Did you like New York in general? I saw your post. I did love yeah. the. I did love the bagel. Yeah, it was great. But did Where'd you love you New York in general? I did. I did love New York. It was like, it's like, just so different from what we had. And here. the weather was like, like for a change. It was like in the forties and fifties. Was the uh, was the last time you went to New York the live show? Yeah. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it was like it was like the only time I've been in New York where I didn't feel like I had to like do a bunch. I was like kind of just for taking work. it in. Yeah. It was in the right areas. I loved New York. Yeah. I kinda yeah. And you went a, to like West Village. Did you yeah. go to like Dumbo and Brooklyn or anything like that? I didn't get up to Brooklyn. But I got it all Chelsea. over. Yeah, Chelsea. All the nice parts of Manhattan. West then. Village, yeah. yeah. Nice. I, I kind of, I had a moment, a few moments where I was just like, I kind of get it now. I, yeah. get, I get why everyone, I had never really had a moment of like, I get what everyone talks about. Yeah. Now. This was the first weekend. Just like even the transportation, which I know sounds like such an old person thing. I love it. I loved it's riding the awesome. train. awesome. Being able to really get Really emotional. Talk about the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, What's going on it's here? Because, I mean, it's a great city. They need we, to just love. Know. Guy loves buses. We had we had lunch here today, and I got a little bit of the of the papa frita with a little seasoning in my throat, and it's been in there for an hour and a half. Oh, it's, man, that's why you drink water. It's killing me. Why didn't yeah. you get it out? <laughs> oh, that's a fine. Hairball. Pay up. But like getting around New York is so easy. It's yeah. really hard not to like it. Like oh, I, I'd go from Brooklyn, it's, it's yeah, a, Upper it's, West Side, it's everywhere. Fine. Not for it's me. Fine. No. Yeah, it's fine. It was great. And I then get, like I it's get so like different cabin from fever here. in New York. Like I feel like I'm out, but like I don't, I don't like it. It's like the one. It's, everyone's on the phone. You get so many snippets of conversations. Like it's like just walking by someone and they're like, and that was the third time he cheated. I'm like, who? <laughs> what cheated? Were George? George. Yeah. George. Everyone's Classic talking, George. Yeah. Everyone's talking yeah. on their little like their headset. Everyone's by themselves, just getting to one place. Everyone's got somewhere to be. It's a lot of on the move. Yeah, I'm like in my yeah. neighborhood, just like some like guys just walking slowly into Walgreens. I'm like, this is boring. <laughs> Hmm. Like I just so you're a fast paced kind of guy. You need the hustle and bustle. Yeah. I, I don't. Know. You're a big city boy. I don't know if I would like Life it in the big city, forever. Yeah. But just like getting to be in it you know, for a little you bit. You know when you wouldn't like it when it snows nine That's, feet and you yeah. have to. My like father, no, 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 it's, not, it's not even the ice. Up. It's I mean, it's not even the snow. It's the ice on the street. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah. then there's it's a lot of it. I saw a lot of people. How many months? Miserable. Probably like a, a, a normal winter, yeah, four months, and then the spring is awesome. The summers are hot as shit. Oh, and then the summers are yeah, and then the fall is really nice. How did you become Mister New York? What's going Giuliani's, on? Giuliani's, 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 Giuliani knows a little what? bit about everything. <laughs> Giuliana is from New York. Oh, oh, I was about to say. So, so, yeah, Why did you say Giuliani? She passed Sorry. the knowledge. Billy, no, so I went up there for every season. Billy, and, you're yeah. surrounded. Like you got it all figured out. Right? I, it's crazy. That's what we've been trying to. Never been more informed. There's so much information on my left and my right. Does Nina have a cat? Does Nina have a cat? Yeah. I don't believe so. You're, she you're, just, has a dog. you're just trying to judge. Her I think therapist. I found. No, I want to make sure that she's got the right therapist for her. No, if she has a cat, what? I'd what does the cat have? To, I'd be worried if she had a cat. I'm about to Why? ask for her email, actually. Her email? Yeah. Why? Don't give it to her. Don't I, share. I, I need a therapist. See? Get your own therapist. Boundaries. You're not a Nina girlie. Dude, I, I she's went to, based out of North Carolina, so I don't even know if you can see her. <laughs> Why? <And you> do <laughs> what? Her. Does her Wait, what? She's void in Florida? She's void in Florida. Oh, he, it's an insurance thing. And he pays thing. for my therapy. Is it like gotcha. the you break it, you buy it type of policy? Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> so thank you, dads. Uh, uh, um, but respect Nina's boundaries. Yeah, and Lucy's. I'm trying to give her money. See, you
fans of the show to talk <laughs> to you. That's going to do it for the episode. Hey. Well, now they definitely won't since you said that. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Roy, what do you have? Quickly. Uh, the Hockey Show, MoCo, and Because Miami this week. Wow. Chris. Cinephile. Lucy. Iowa women play Ohio State on Sunday to end the season. You're excited? Oh, wow, I'm very game. excited. Big Tony game or not a big game? Four. Tony. Uh, we've got the MMA Hangout, and we have Tony Show Part 2 coming very soon. How soon? <laughs> like, in, right a matter of, in a matter of weeks. Why are you doing it again? Because we had a blast and everybody loved it. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>